Howdy guys, CJ here. So last semester I decided I needed to kind of revamp my note taking process, make it smoother, make it a lot easier to go back over my notes and stuff like that. So I personally like taking digital notes on my laptop and stuff. And it works great for my classes like English, history, and all those notes where the notes are pretty much in sentence forms. But notes like in my math class and my computer classes, it doesn't really work that well because I have to be drawing graphs and pictures and charts and I just need something that is a lot more writing friendly, I guess you could say. So I decided I needed to get a tablet. Luckily over winter break, I was fortunate enough to go ahead and get this puppy, the iPad Air 2, and I decided to go ahead and do an unboxing for you guys. Now, it is an older iPad and I know people, plenty of people have done unboxings for the iPad but I still think it's a great product I, from what I've seen. So I'm gonna go ahead and do an unboxing for you guys. So let's go ahead and jump right on in. All right, so let's start off with the box. As usual, Apple has a simple design on its box. It has the iPad on the front, the iPad name on the side in gray and white box as usual. This gives it a nice, simple, elegant Apple design as usual, but enough of that. Let's get straight to the unboxing. So I'm going to go ahead and use my little pocket knife here just to go ahead and cut the plastic and just make it a little bit easier to take off. There we go. Let's take that off. A little bit over here. Put my knife down before I hurt myself. <laughs> All right, let's take the rest of it off, and there we go. The box is fully unwrapped. Now let's go ahead and take this cover off and see under the hood. And there we go. There you have it, there's the iPad in all their glory. Now let's go ahead and put it to the side so we can see what's inside the box. We have the usual suspects, the wall adapter. Okay. the Apple paperwork that comes in the box as usual and the lightning cable for charging and syncing. Now let's get to the real good stuff, the iPad herself. Go ahead and turn it on real quick and now it's time for the setup. Uh, setup was pretty simple, just go through it, hit the language, the country, hook it up to your Wi-Fi as usual, otherwise you can't continue so, oh well. Anyway, I decided to enable location services. I skipped out on the Touch ID just for the sake of this video. And I also put on a passcode. I told it to set up as a new iPad just because I've never had an iPad before. After that, I went ahead and put it in my Apple ID information. It asked me to accept terms and conditions. And then it kept going with the Apple ID setup. And after a little bit, it had kind of asked me to go ahead and do the Apple Pay, which I also skipped just because I really don't need that. Of course, I turned on Siri. I told it to send diagnostics and analytics to app developers. And then I got to open up the iPad. Now, for the first time using the iPad, it felt really great. It felt nice in the hand to hold. The display looked beautiful and it was really smooth right out of the box which is wonderful for me. Now, I wanna state why I left the plastic wrap on, just basically I did that so the iPad doesn't get scratched or anything like that, at least until I get it a screen protector. After that, I'll go ahead and take that off. All right guys, that's it for my unboxing of the iPad Air 2. I can't wait to go ahead and start having fun with this puppy, getting to use it in my everyday life and stuff like that. Go ahead and stay tuned for the review of the iPad Air 2 as well. And if you want to be notified when I upload more videos, hit the subscribe button down below. It's free, so why not? Also, if you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, give it a thumbs down. Leave a comment down below what I can improve on and stuff like that. Well, that's pretty much it. So I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.